Hello and welcome to Winter's Edge, where you listen to an audio of our adventure while I illustrate a scene from it. In this one, the boys travel deeper into the wildlands and they meet a mysterious figure that brings a whole lot of trouble with them. Will they survive? I don't know. Let's find out. All right, shall we jump straight into it? You guys are camped out at an old ruins in the ruined town of Toulon. Um, it was an uneventful night. Uh, Zeph, before he went to bed, laid some of his spirit traps out around the general area as Bone Boy, the Goblin Necromancer, had told him how to do it. Um, so yeah, as you all start to wake and stir, you're in this covered ruin, the snow's banked up on the sides, you're feeling quite warm and cosy with your rings of warmth on and your warm weather gear. You see um, Trim Lane, the mousy historian, in the corner. She's got a book and she's writing and stopping and writing. Um, old Tom's got out, got already up, and he's uh, called up some of the yak worms. They've been buried under the snow, and he's brought them out and just started feeding them with hay from the saddlebags on the side of these huge, huge beasts. Um, yeah, how would you guys like to start your day? Do we want to look at that map <clears throat> and figure out if we wanted to go and do any of that stuff? Like if we could like tear it up? Yeah. We were also on a time limit, right? Like, uh, and it's up to you how tight your time limit wants to be. Um, you're given... Corks is going to head out in two weeks. Yeah. Um, well, he has to be at the monastery in two weeks. Yeah. Uh, and you guys have got this time frame that it takes you about three and a half days to get to where you want to go if you went straight there. Three and a half to get back you don't know how long you'd have to spend there so you're looking at around eight days straight there and back which might give you a bit of wiggle room um, because that still gives you what six days uh, it takes about three days to get to the monastery so is there a, like is there a time limit on the the adventure we're on now to get to the ruins no um oh there's not well gunther actually expects you probably not to make it it's it's more of a big pr stunt because they don't know what the ruins are about or anything it's just to go there document what's there if you guys don't make it then he's going to send a proper adventuring party <laughs> to recover your magic items and then complete the quest so yeah he's he's quite open um so okay so what is our current obligation now then um you're, you're... to attempt to go to the ruins your entire yeah you're being documented by trim lane yeah. you've signed a contract with um gunther yeah. to complete this and in return he's going to pay you two thousand gold okay. can we have a look at the contract and see if there's a time limit on when we actually have to achieve this okay yeah so you go through it there isn't a time limit as i say this is a um a quest he's he's put together it's more that he's taken you guys on board, which is a massive PR opportunity for him to get his face out there. Um, he's not expecting much from the actual ruins. He knows you're going pretty deep into the wildlands where there's a good chance uh, an inexperienced party will die. Um, you do know, you do remember him saying that there was a nest of snow spiders in there. That's why the guy couldn't go in. So he expects you to have to deal with that. Um, and he, he's not even sure if you can manage that. Um, when you say time limit, there, there is a reasonable expectation yeah. that you try. Because yeah, I'm just, I'm wondering how much wiggle room, like, could we just like piss around here for a week, go to the monastery mm -hmm. and then just like come back and do it later? Well, that, that's kind yeah. of what I'm getting at. The problem with that is you have to go back through Wildgate, the yeah. um, gates, and your adventuring contract means for you to be able to go through the wild gate into the wilds yeah um it's it'll be basically null and void when you come back and you'd have to renegotiate the contract and probably give back gotcha. all that right yeah so it. that's kind yeah. of where i was going i wanted mm. to yeah so i understand and there's like there's like a couple of spots on the way yeah um, yeah i was kind of thinking like whether we could work out because it looks like there's like two like a valley and a mountain pass mm. and both have kind of got like two to three spots on them plus the four far away I'm wondering whether we could go to like the left one or the right one 
hit those spots and then carry on through to Gunther's destination and still make that within the time frame. Because I feel like even if it adds like a day, mm. we should be all right. Yeah. Um, I also want to mention that Brooks, is it Brooks Way? Brooks? Yeah. Brooks Way? That's been mar <coughs> marked by the um, Assassin's Guild, the yeah. Retributors, as a place where the four bodies are that they need um, reclaiming as well. Yeah. So it's a little bit out your way, but you've got to decide if you want to. Which I assume would be better to do on the way back. So I have to carry. Yeah, what's well, the bodies? What, what do we have to carry with the bodies? Do we actually have to bring the bodies back? Yeah, it's basically the assassins go out and kill the people, yeah. but as proof that they've done it, they send out other people to go. Okay. Yeah, it seems like that's an efficient business model. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, if we're going to do that then, why don't we head up to the left to the valley? I mean, maybe not go as far as the spirit spot, but we could do, depending on how long it's going to take. I mean, we've got this guide with us. Could, he'll tell us, like, how long mm -hmm. out of the way that would be, right? Yeah. And then I figure if we go up to the left, we can hit the spirit spot there, do the possible head, herd locations, and then bounce to Gunther's destination, then on the way back, hit the mountain pass, see if we can recover the bodies and come back that way as, like, a full loop. Yeah. Yeah, and, like, the, the, I've, there's only five spirit traps, which are fully charged at the moment. But to charge them up, I need second level spell slots. Yeah. So, yeah, chances most, are at the end yeah. of the day, I might not have those. Yeah. And also, <laughs> as well, though. Zeph is aware he doesn't have to go to the spirit spots to catch spirits. Yeah. They're just hot spots, and he's in danger of actually catching more powerful spirits there that will destroy his traps. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, I, I kind of feel like it, they're so close to the herb spots that we might as well go to it. Can mm. I talk to. What's the guy that's leading us, his name? Old Tom. Yeah. Can I talk to him and. and so, show him the route that I've just thought mm -hmm. and ask him how much additional time that would add to... Yeah. He looks over your shoulder as you, you hold up the map. Um, can I just see the map? There is a um, scale on there. Yeah, there was a bit of a scale, but I also didn't know where to match that. <laughs> yeah, it'll put you out in the open. Um, he says, uh, yeah, normally we were planning to go Broken Pillars, there's a bit of a shelter there, mm -hmm. but if we're okay with camping out in the open, or we could go to the Broken Pillars, turn left, and it would add about a day to our journey, I'd say. I'll be cool with the day, you guys call cool the day? Yeah, I mean, you just spend it on the way back. Mm. You can just come straight back. Yeah. He says, yeah, that suits me. That's so, do you want to go to Broken Pillars first, camp there? I reckon. If we go Broken Pillars, then we just head up to the left. Sounds like a cool place to go. Yeah. He says... There's only broken pillars here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know the story behind the broken pillars, right? You would assume so, he says, but it's one of the forgotten towns. We don't even know what it was called. It's just foundations left. But uh, yeah, he's happy with that. Cool. Did any of my traps go off? Let's have a look. Uh, roll a percentage dice per trap, and I'll tell you the result. One, uh, 52. 52. Okay, so um, Bone Boy's told you how to do it. And what you when you come out looking at the first trap, it's frozen over, yeah. which is a good sign. Yeah. It's caught something. Oh, I'll just see actually if it broke out. Got to make a... No. So it's frozen over, which means it's trapped a spirit. And what happens is the spirit's attracted to the crystal, which yeah. has a little bit of value. It's shiny. They come see it when they try to integrate with it it's almost got this feeling that it could give them back life so they're trying to possess it they go in and activates your rhymes binding spell freezes that in and all you have to do now is take that chunk of ice put it in the jar yeah. and seal it um, you can also tell the sort of power of the spirit by the color that the crystals turned um, very very light white is weak spirit yeah um, and he said the ones, you, the best ones you better catch are a dark red yeah. with these crystals, and a washed out red means it's a, uh, in between a, a mild angry spirit, and that's what you've caught here. Oh. A washed out red. Yeah. So you can choose. You got ten jars, right? Yep. You can choose whether you want to fill it with that. Yeah. Um, and uh, Bone Boy said it'd pay you thirty gold for such spirits. Okay. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I will leave it up to you to keep a track of your jar, yep. jars, and also 
that's now a burnt out trap, it's not damaged, mm -hmm. it just needs to be recharged. I assume the, the snare would go off in the middle of the night? No. Otherwise, we'd wake up and see someone dangling. <laughs> yeah, you're alone, Jake. Everyone's left. Yeah. <laughs> been, dragged, been dragged off in the night. Yeah. Okay, Never so again. That's why he took snare. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Zeph then can carry on to his next trap and, mm -hmm. and ch check that one as well. Six. That one hasn't been activated. 59. 59. And let's just see if he breaks out. Ah, that's a broken trap. Okay. So it's been, yeah, something angry got hold of it and destroyed it and the crystals shattered and managed to get out. So that's a destroyed trap. Okay. And 75. Ooh. Ooh. That one is a dark red. Oh, we'll see if he breaks out though. No. So you've caught yourself a feral raging minor spirit. Alright. They go for about a hundred gold. Or you can use it for yourself. So that's two and one more. Uh, seven. And again, hasn't been sprung. The crystal dangles there still. And the snow's piled up around. Can I, I can pick them up while they're still armed? Yeah, still yeah. It just hasn't... It, once. It's, it's a very basic magic. When the three legs, the tri tripod's closed, it's not activated. When you spread them out, it's reactivated. Cool. So, so yeah, you just gather up those. So you're down to four traps, basically, now. Four traps, but two that are still active. Yeah. Yep. And I've got a dark red and a little red. Cool. Yeah, so a pretty successful first, uh, first venture for you. Okay, and yeah, Trimlane closes her book, puts away her writing gear, and uh, says a terse morning to you all as she goes out to join old Tom. Um, yeah, and so you all gather up outside, uh, each whistling, calling your yak worms to the fore, but as you do that, <laughs> uh -oh. a sight in the distance catches your eye. You see this small old man running through the snow, his knees up, holding his robe up, just powering through it. You can see the white grey of his beard, his long white grey hair, but he's moving really well at good speed. And so now what I'm going to do is get in your new player who's going to join you guys. <laughs> Waiting outside? <laughs> Oh, do we have? Oh, don't! I, I thought I thought you were like, oh, it's me, old Tim. Yeah. <laughs> 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 brings back his dice. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And do you, any of you guys want any of this? Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's yeah, a sandwich. I kind of got them for everybody. <clears throat> I like that he kept them outside. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of ruined the surprise by looking at the campaign page. Oh, oh, I don't want to get it. Does anyone want a Ferrero shit? No. I got a box of them for Christmas. And I really like the dark colour, the dark ones. Yeah, they're good, aren't mm -hmm. He's not here. It's J-Rod, though. J-Rod's oh, going to come play with us. Yeah, but he's had to run and get something. But he is the old man character. He's just running really slowly in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to take his time. <laughs> We're just going to start running really slowly towards, towards us. We just start getting off. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He comes in here and we've got three Does he have a big red beard by any chance? No, it's a big grey oh. beard with a long white hair. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that this area here was the house you were in. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you've all gathered up here and you see this old guy here. And as he sees you, he sees these yak worms and that. He veers off the way he was running and starts to run towards you. Um, and he's so was it, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Old Tom, <laughs> he's got <just> it. <laughs> Old Tom crooks his neck. Gets his virus. But then, coming through the mist behind him, you see this massive shape. It's uh, bigger than an ogre, powering through the snow, chasing him. Um, and he 
lets out a small squeal as he comes running towards you. As this thing comes more into view, you can make out that it must be at least eight foot, maybe more tall, wide, built, um, and it has huge mammoth tusks coming out of its head. Um, and old Tom looks out to the north where it's coming from and says, ah, shit, it's a snow troll. And he's powering towards him, slowly bearing down on this guy. This guy's moving fast. Let's hope this guy's got a fire maker. <laughs> With the snow tr troll just bursting through the snow, it's big stumpy legs powering through as it's got its small beady eyes locked on this old guy. So um, you guys will all get a turn to prepare before the old guy sort of starts to run into your camp area. So uh, yeah, everyone let me know what you want to be doing in one one turn. <clears throat> I'll probably boost forward because mm -hmm. I can't do shit from range. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so we're just basically getting a free turn here, is that? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, just because these are off in the distance, you've got time to react. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll roll for initiative to get a feel of how it's all going to play out. Okay. How, how big is this thing behind El Man? Um, I guess it would be under the huge... What are the categories? There's large, right? Tiny, small, medium, large, huge. I don't Ginormous. think it'll be huge, actually. Huge is like a dragon and stuff, right? Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. just like so big, right? Yeah, I'm going to say it's large. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, I'll take a hit of my wobbling whiskey. Mm -hmm. um, so I've only got one charge of that there. Fire one? Oh, fuck. That's no, a good idea, though. Fuck. You. You, can, you can take a few hits or different ones if you want to take the risk. With your nah, cool. I just got paid. <laughs> Drink up! I can't wait. Honestly, I spent so much money on Kayla's birthday, and I've been like, I've got cash, but it's like I've got it in savings, and I don't want to touch it because I'm trying to stick to the budget. Yeah, yeah. and I had to break that. No, I still haven't got paid yet. <laughs> Rip. Um, what was I gonna do? Um, yeah, I'll take a hit of the wobbling whiskey, mm -hmm. and then I guess I'll run and then dash. So that's seventy feet. Okay. Sure. <laughs> this is fucking reckless, eh? Yeah. Like, yeah, I was going to say that. Don't overextend, but you do what? Fight! You run right past the old guy. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. I'll stick at 65. Okay. Okay. Um, Alright. Um, so we've got like a little house, a ruined yeah, house thing here? Yeah, that's packed up with snow yeah. and there is a broken door that you've just come through basically. Is there any like roof to it or anything? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, slightly caved in and sagging and everything but it's it's held and people, you're adventurers gonna, use this spot a lot. You're going to run and hide? <laughs> I was going to climb up something <laughs> but I don't have that kind of range so. Um. And you can treat all these other areas here as old foundations that have popped up. Oh. Oh, okay. hey, Gerald. Yeah. If that's the case, can I just like pop Gerald. around behind this? Yeah, totally. I wouldn't be able to be seen here even though this doesn't end there, does it? Um, what do you mean? So, if this is a foundation. Yeah, it's about, say, yay high. Yeah. But like, if I hide like in that space. Yeah. Like, I assume the line of sight is like that, right? Like, you can't see it. Yeah, we'll give you that. Okay, cool. Just yeah. gonna punch J Rod as he comes yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna knock him out, <laughs> trip him. leave him, and then be like, <laughs> the Yeti's got him, boys, we're out. Yeah. Okay, so this is what's happened, J Rod. I ran out to get you, but you'd. Yeah, yeah. You'd stealth on me. Um, you have appeared, right? Um, in the snow. Not. Uh, you're poorly dressed for the conditions, you're bewildered, you looked around and then suddenly this huge snow troll that was on the horizon turned and looked at you, narrowed its eyes and just started bounding towards you. Your natural instincts have kicked in so far and you've just been running madly. Yes. But then in the distance you saw these huge yak worms and humanoid figures and you've taken a chance and you're running towards them with this huge snow troll just pushing aside the snow. It's, huge ma mammoth tusks knocking aside rocks and everything as it's coming towards you. Um, yeah, so, and what I've done is I've given each of these guys a turn to prepare, and you can also take a turn to run, or you might want to turn and take on this 
Snow, control yourself. <laughs> Ideally, I would run, <laughs> run past the people. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that's going to happen. So, yeah, with the map, there's only one sort of standing building at the back here where they've emerged from, and they've, they've got these huge, furry, almost caterpillars that they've been using as mounts that you notice. You don't recognise what they yeah. are or anything. This is all foreign to you. Um, and all the rest of the um, black marks are anywhere from two foot high old foundation ruins poking through the snow of an a old dead town. I'm going to climb up on top of that foundation there mm -hmm. just to get a better view. Cool, cool. And what is this? I've <laughs> That's a hiding George. <laughs> <laughs> who's a little gnome, so you probably haven't even seen him. He's, he's, yeah. he's seen you guys and he's scurried and ducked down beside this foundation. So is this a leak? No, is no, this is all just snow. Okay. So I'm just using this map okay. for it. How far can I run? You can run, I believe, 30 feet, but you can also use your action to... So you get a movement speed yeah. and then you get an action and... Oh, and you're a second level... Uh, right, so you can use your bonus action to dash as well. So if you wanted to, you could move 90 feet using an action and a bonus action and your walking speed. Okay. Or um, you could just... How far is 90 feet? That's um, each square is 5 feet. Yeah. So you'd probably be thinking maybe use your walking speed of 30 feet, a bonus action <coughs> of 30 feet. So you could move 60 feet and still have an action left if you mm. wanted to do anything else. How many squares is that? Who can do that? Uh, the 18, 18, 18 squares, yeah. For the full. Ah, uh -huh. or 12, let's use, I can't say very Yeah, the other, other thing you can do is you can use your, oh, you can use your action or your bonus action to try hide as well. So you can move your 60 feet and then try stealth if you wanted to. Once you've sort of got out of eyesight of this massive snow troll. How fast can the troll move? He's, gain, he's been gaining on this old man. Holy shit, he can run 90 feet a turn. <laughs> it's actually a good fit. He hasn't been pushing himself yet, the old man. Um, I thought you were saying the Yeti hasn't been pushing himself. <laughs> so how fast? So he's gaining on me. This yeah, but you can... If you, every time you use your dash, you uh, start to use exhaustion points. Uh -huh. So at the moment, you've been keeping a good, steady, strong gait, but you know you've still got a burst of speed and you need to pull away from this thing for a few I really, I, So you said 18. Do I have to... I can, can I move diagonal? So I've never played uh, just what, as a... Can I move diagonal? I think the rule was that the, the first diagonal is okay, but every time after that, it's like you it go sideways, sideways forward, sideways forward. Yeah. Okay. So you one, one free diagonal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to get okay, screw Pythagoras. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> so 18 was the two. Um, yeah, and then you can either have, yeah, you can either use an action. Um, so I could use an action to stealth? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a real dick move. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like lure the it? troll to us. <laughs> There's the guy who wanted to climb up on something. <laughs> hey man, I have 15 hit points, all right? <laughs> so this is uh, something I could hide behind? Yeah, we'll say that's a, almost a five foot tall broken pillar. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this isn't called broken pillars. <laughs> that's 17. Mm -hmm. So I could do that and then stealth or yeah. roll for stealth? You roll for stealth, okay. yeah. So I would commit to the movement first though, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you see this old guy power through the snow, run past you, can George. I, can, I, can I be like running, run, run, help, run, run, help. <laughs> totally. You hear him yelling the stuff, and as he says that, he quickly ducks around behind the pillar, crouches down, and almost lets have a stealth roll from you. Now, you can click on, you've got a stealth ability there, and it might say plus five or plus six next Yes, yeah, something like that. If you click on that number, it'll roll a dice for you. If I click on stealth, it'll roll them. <coughs> on the plus part. We can roll real Yes, yeah. Cool. A 13. 13? Yeah, that's 13. Oh, well, okay, it says 18. Can yeah, yeah 13 okay. plus 5. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, this old guy quickly crouches down and almost starts to blend in with the pillar. 
Um, or just colorful outfit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Put some snow up around yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's not like snow on him. Okay, Jake, what are you going to do? Um, I'll move forward 30. Okay, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, and then we're saying the, the snow beast is over here? Um, I'm going to give him three squares before he gets onto the mat. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so 15 feet off the mat. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. Can I see there? It would have to be over here, I guess. What do you mean, can you see there? If Just I wanted to cast a spell like... at 90 feet. Yeah. Yeah, so I can see yeah. over there. Um, yeah, no, we, we'll say is they are running down a hill towards you, so you can see up okay. here over the, the low foundations, anywhere across there. Is it clear weather at the moment? Yeah, it's pretty clear. Um, sweet. So... Oh. <laughs> he can just dodge it. Um, okay, screw it. Um, I will cast Entangle at that location. Okay. Um, Do we want to grasping weeds and bounce right out of the ground twenty feet? Cool. And uh, it's difficult terrain. Which will slow his movement by half, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, he's snow ogres aren't smart and they're very direct. Once they see their prey, they just lock on, looking to overpower it. So yeah, you won't have to worry about him. What does your entangle look like? Uh, what does it do? Well, it's snow environment, right? Yeah, yeah. So you White tell you. snowy thorns then will go with that. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Blends into the snow. Um, Fluorescent coloured disco thorns. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with big cones and stuff. It's <laughs> my handy dandy little. Oh, look at you! Paint that cute. But it's wrong. <laughs> okay. Double boost real quick. Yeah, I was going to say after. Get the tank up there. Come on. And then uh, bonus action on wild shape into Ooh. either a bear or a wolf. Bear wolf? Bear wolf. With rabbit ears. I will go wolf again this time. Okay. Huge dire wolf. Huge dire rabbit. Rabbit wolf? Yep. A rabbit. A rabbit yes. wolf. A rabbit wolf. Does it have the rabbit teeth as well? Yeah, that's for chewing. That's how he does the bite attacks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and after you got... Are we playing the, with the rage thing that I have to be hit or hit something? No, yeah. well, if you can see the enemy... Okay, so yeah, yeah. I'll, do, I'll do my... Um, okay, so remember you... Yeah, you hear a... Um, you see this dwarf power past you. Um, we'll call you J-Rod for now. And uh, he bangs together these huge brass knuckles that make a ringing sound and you can see his eyes suddenly turn red and uh, spirits start to rise up around him as he starts to surge forward. Um, And yeah, this other, this rabbit, rabbit man, starts hopping forward, casts a spell off in the distance. You can't see what's happening because you're behind the pillar. But as he runs past you, he turns, transforms into a huge direwolf, rabbit ears. Um... So you just see the ears popping. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll have him, he can go 40 feet a turn. So he'll go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And then he'll use another 20 as he breaks through here, right? Yeah, so a creature in the area when, oh, when you cast the spell, ignore me. Does he have to get to make a saving throw or anything? Or is he automatically... Difficult terrain. Uh, it's just it's just difficult terrain because he wasn't in the area when I cast the spell. So cool. it's just cool. So yeah, he can move another twenty feet yeah. from here. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So yeah, this huge um, massive slab of muscle and tusks and fur and long nose, small beady eyes hits Jake's entangled roots, and you can see him slow visibly as they wrap around his arms and legs, but he powers through, breaking them, eyes shattering, um, his eyes flaring as he comes upon the ruins, and now we'll all roll for initiative. So let's see where... <coughs> Should have done the same. Oh, this time. oh, what am I doing rolling two dice? You get ten? Twenty-two. <laughs> oh, now is initiative another thing that I can... There's one up here, bro. 
And then just roll a 20. Oh, or 15. 15 for the... Yeah. Uh, 23 for me. 20. Whoa! 23 for uh, Jake. Gotta love that plus five, man. I got 13. 13. 13 for Big O. And Arthur. 22. Jeez. What's your dex? Yeah. Uh, I think it'll be higher than that. 14. What's your dex, Alan? Dex is plus one. 12, yeah. Yeah. So you go after Z and we'll roll for Snow Troll. Hey, the troll troll. Wanna get into this? Oh, he need roll the natural 20. Holy. Oh, nice. But what's his, what's his plus 20? Yeah, we'll give him a 23 as well. So I have a roll off with you, Jake, to see you guys first. Just straight up 20 dice roll. And now the natural 20. Well, I got a natural one, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Snow Troll breaks through. Um, George, do you want to give me a stealth check if you want to stay hidden as he runs through? I don't really care about staying hidden, eh? You're going to do an opportunity attack if he runs past? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, cool, because that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and he'll take his diagonal, 35, 40. As he sees the dwarfs uh, <laughs> surging forward to meet him, he recognises another... Um, Almost alpha male predator. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you get an opportunity attack on. Stick out your leg. <laughs> That's pretty much the idea, right? No, it's only um, eight. Yeah, yeah, you take a swing, but he totally ignores you and carries on running by and attacks Arthur with these huge ice covered claws. Okay. First attack is a. 19. Oh yeah. And the second attack is a 16. Nah, that won't. Oh, no. Oh, so I see. 18. No. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so the first one only does 1d8 plus 3. What a week is. Oh, but he rolls an 8 plus but he rolls 3. An eight. <laughs> 11, but you're raging. So you can have that to. Rounding down or rounding yeah. down to a five. So as you two meet, his claws rip along you. One struggles to find purchase, but the other one opens a gash across your soul, shoulder, and your spirits howl in anger around you. Um, and then it's Jake's turn. Cool. I'm gonna sprint up in all form. Two, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Um, right up next to him, mm -hmm. um, and because and I'll do a bite attack, but because Arthur's in range, I've got pack tactics, nice. so I've got advantage on attack rolls. Um, <laughs> oh. Okay, so that was a fourteen. It hits. Fourteen. It's a hits. Big, big target. Okay, <clears throat> so it's two d six, so five, one six plus three, so nine damage, nine piercing damage, uh, and then he has to make a strength saving throw. Okay. Otherwise, he gets not prone. Guts. I feel like Eddie's going to be pretty strong. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. Oh, like, the, the roll bit, the DC. <laughs> that dice is rolling, of course. Okay, so. You know, yeah, you, you latch on around his arm, and he's howls in rage as your teeth clamp down strongly on him. Um, and that's everything for you, Jake? Yep. Z. Q. Um, I will see. pop up a little bit there, and I will witch bolt. Witch bolt. Yes, uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two. What sort of damage type is that? Two. Uh, it's lightning. Cool. Uh, ten. Ten. And so that stays up. That's right. It locks onto him. Yep. So it's next turn bolt. I just get to do damage. Yeah, so it's almost like you've got a chain of lightning now yeah. wrapped around him. It's very cool. 
as you stand on the pillar, your arm outstretched, and a chain of lightning just rise and wraps around this huge snow troll. Okay. Arthur. <clears throat> um, I'll take a swing at him. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you got a D, a D4, Jake? Oh, yeah. oh, did I not give you a free time? Oh. oh thank you. Um, cool. So, I'm oh, not fine. Unlucky, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Wait, yeah, hold on. Big That's a seven. This is is a it a one. seven? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, He's got an armor cost of 12. So 11 plus. I mean, yeah, 13. Cool, yeah. So yeah, the sheer bulk of this creature almost drives you back, but you manage to land a blow. It'll be five damage. Nice. Great, frosty bastard. <laughs> uh, and then I'll take another swing at him. Do I get the bless with the offhand one? Ah, uh, yeah, yep. it's all your attacks. Oh, it's in this a toe when you make that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so the sheer size of this creature drives you back and you find it hard to get a decent swing. You land one ac- across its kneecap. And it howls in rage. Again, j Rob, your character's turn. Um, can I cast Magic Missile? Ah, uh, yep, you can po- poke around the corner. Yeah. Do I have to stand up very much? <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. Really, yeah. yeah, so what you can do is use your movement speed to pop out. You can do your attack and whatever's left on your movement of your 30 feet, you can pop back behind the, the pillar. So do I need line of sight? Do I have line of sight? Do I? Um, you'll have to move out. That's a pillar, yeah. Yeah. You'll have to move out. Yeah. So you can move out behind Arthur, shoot over him, fire your magic missile, which doesn't miss. They just snake out of your hand and like guiding missiles fly up. Three missiles, I believe, fly, fly up and pound into the snow troll. Yeah. So all you do is roll the damage for them. How do I do that exactly? Go to your actions. I don't know that. So hit down there. It's a pretty hard act to navigate. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty hard to find. On a phone, anyway. I'm, re- I'm regretting summoning the thorns, man. What a waste. <laughs> You just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So four damage is like if I. That, that's like the first roll. That's the yeah. First so, roll. so yeah. I think you get three missiles. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So yeah. do one d four plus something each one. Four two and then two. Four two and two is what it is. Eight. Eight. Yep. Um. Two. D- Okay, and then Big O, you've watched this huge form, a shadow cast over you as it powers by and you're covered in a pile of snow as its knees churn through and you shake it, shake it off and <coughs> see it dealing with Arthur uh, behind you. Yeah, so I'll uh, bounce up straight behind him and just start swinging on his... <laughs> Swinging on, his, yeah. <laughs> Swinging on his nutsack yeah. like, <laughs> like, 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 like it's a those. boxing bag. Yeah. <laughs> Does he get advantage because he's flanking? Uh, no, we're not playing the flanking rule yet. We'll have a look at that because it will help uh, in pack tactics. Yeah, I think doesn't like the pack tactics stuff only count for people that have got that kind of yeah, shit? Yeah, it's an optional rule, the flanking one. Mm. Um, it's a good rule. I feel like it's pretty overpowered though at the yeah. same time. Like it's quite like. Well, it will be especially because there's like there's oh. us three melee. Yeah. And then I can summon another beast. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Gonna... so I have to think about it. But for now, we won't use it. Um. Anyway. So yeah, I'll swing on him. Oh my God! And was that a six? 12. No, I got eleven. Okay. Um. I'll use my. I'm not going to flurry of blows. I'll just use my bonus action to make another unarmed strike against him. Cool. Yep, so that's 16. 16, that's a hit. Why did I roll on the app? Fine. Like, so <laughs> Six damage. Nice. That'll be my turn. Cool. We'll go back to the top of the round now. And as a snow troll is suddenly realizing it's surrounded, you can see some of the wounds uh, that have been hitting at the lightning damage, the, the magic missiles that opened the um, scars across the chest start to 
coat over with ice and close up and start to heal. Not fully, but he starts to re-strengthen. Does anyone have fire? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I have like a... Oh, I can do it. <laughs> I can cut, create a campfire. Just <laughs> 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 create a campfire repulsor. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna, as he's, he's just whirling around savagely dealing with you guys, so for the three people in front of him, I'm just gonna roll randomly to see who he attacks with each claw. Um, so he Joe does you know, have disadvantage if he doesn't attack me. Yeah, so he won't realise that. Because um, <laughs> your spirits are starting to almost grab him and hold him and interfere and blind him as they swirl around him. So, first attack is against you, and the second attack, your three and four pharmacists, is against you. Yep. So he's whirling, and he takes one at Arthur and then turns as you've been whacking him in the back to uh, strike you. First one against you, Arthur. Big guy's claw misses, you duck under it, and against Figo. Yeah, you duck under that one too, roll aside, come back up onto your feet. Um, so you yeah, know that was his turn. Uh, then we go back to the top with Jake. Um, how much does it look like he healed? Like from my understanding of limited of money reason. knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will let you make a a Kana check okay. to uh, see what you know about. You might have heard a tale from the sailors. And... Sorry, is he a yeti or is he a troll? He's a troll. Okay. Sorry, he's calling me Yeti. Mm. There are Yetis out there too. That's your <laughs> yeah. uh, It's yeah. a nine. Nine, yeah. So it's hard to tell. He's covered, ice is covering him in all different ways and wounds are closing. But the wounds have been coming so fast, it's hard to see taken what was healed and what was not. Uh, no would be like, nah, we can take him down before he heals. Gonna burn him down? Yeah, we'll burn him down. Um, so I'll just fight with pack tactics. So it's 16 plus 5. 21? That's a hit. 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 damage. That's good. Uh, and strength saving throw. Oh, yes. He's adding plus 7. Oh. Natural 20. Yeah. He seems to stand even taller. <laughs> <laughs> um, screw it. Fine, fine. For bonus action, I will. Revert form. Ooh, okay. Suddenly the dire wolf turns back into a feeble looking rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> um, Zeph, you've got this lightning locked on. Yep. So I just. That's so straight damage. damage. 12. <laughs> you lean into it, your pulsing chain flares even brighter. And I just wanted to like step a little bit closer. And yeah, he's looking bloody. He's uh, staggers back from that, almost drops to a knee. Is that does that is it an action when mm -hmm. you do that? Yep. Cool. So yeah, you lean into it, really see his skin ripping off him as it flails across him. Arthur. Um can't you grab that? It's yeah. Too complicated. <laughs> no, it's just a basic <laughs> nice. strength check. He does have a very high strength. I got a pretty high strength. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is totally on my mail for Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'll roll his. No. Uh, seven. Yeah, he got a 22. <laughs> <laughs> Flings me across. The <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he pushes me back and you, you slide a little. Um, yeah, so you don't get a bonus action either, right? I guess not, yeah. No. We'll say, yeah, because of that. Yeah. He's been pushed back. Uh, J Ron. I'm gonna run away more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was a building over here, or you, what? You done one, you could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the doorway? Um, it's. We were, yeah, we were here. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You see this old guy. Fire a few glowing. Can I still out. do I still have line is that considered line of sight to him still? Yeah. Or like how do you determine yeah, I'll give it to you. You okay. could fire and then move anyway. Yeah. Alright, yeah. let's do that. Yeah. I'll fire and then move. What are you gonna fire? Uh my 
can I fire, fire? I have two spell slots. Can I fire a magic missile again? Yeah. yeah. And you might also have the, an entrance that don't cost you anything. Yeah, but they're not useful for. They're just light bulbs. Okay. Light oh, you bulbs, got you got. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. So you can use your second spell slot to again roll your magic missile damage. Yeah. Let's do that first. We get a two, uh, five. Five, so twelve damage, and then yeah, nice. Okay, again, these uh, green darts all hit home, uh, hitting them like angry flies, and you can see them wincing and, and swatting away at them in anger as they they draw blood, and blood is dripping off them in all sorts of spots, flayed skin, huge bruises. Um, they go. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just swing on him again. Mm -hmm. Fuck, I'm rolling like shit. Jeez. That was a two. Okay. Um, I know he's my bonus action to unarm strike again. <laughs> <laughs> it's 12. Oh, that's a hit. Oh, okay. Just needed 12. He's a big no, wait. Target. Was that 12? Yeah, it is 12. Sorry, my math is bad. Yeah. No. Uh, seven damage. Nice. Okay, another huge blow on his back, and again the ice is forming back around and closing up wounds. Um, but he still looks bloodied. He, he's uh, struggling to fight back all the damage you guys are doing to him. Um, but now he's going to swing randomly, and there's a little rabbit. He's a five <laughs> or a six. Let's see. So I need a five or a six. No, one at Arthur. And a five. Oh, the first time never was never been hit. <laughs> you got knocked out by those shadows. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so for Arthur, he rolls a natural twenty. Yep. Fucks me up. Let's go. And he rolls an eight. So that's sixteen plus three is nineteen. You can halve that to ten. He hits you with a mighty down. Hit. down. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, sorry, to yeah. nine. But his 19 damage. Uh, he got a natural <laughs> 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 that, that would have just been me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He hits Arthur with a massive solid blow that... Um, oh, and you're going to give disadvantage on the attack yeah. against Jake too. You see his spirits, these dwarven battle spirits are just swirling around him. So he gets disadvantage. First roll is a natural 20. <laughs> This is a four. And then a uh, 16. So it's oh. going to hit, but not, not, yeah, mate, it's not a fatal hit. Yeah. And that is a four plus three, a seven. Oh, easy. <laughs> I mean, worried. pretty weak, actually. I might have to put these guys on. The oh, no, I had 19 over there. That was a bit scary, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and yeah, he's, he's healed, but Jake... You uh, you take a savage break across the chest, but you you stand and you take it. Um, Nibbles is going to do uh, produce flame, just throw at him. Okay. Uh, so it's thirteen plus five, so eighteen. Yeah, you hit. It's a well timed one too. And is that a d four? Yeah. Alright, d eight. Is that a one? One plus nothing. <laughs> It's still actually huge because so one reason. fire damage. <laughs> yeah. You can see all the ice. It doesn't seem to get through him, but all this ice that's been slowing over his skin and pulling stuff together just falls back and uh, exposes uh, raw skin. And the ice is struggling to reform. Feel like I'm like holding up a lighter again. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I, I'm in melee range, so he just like touches him with a little bit of flame. Yeah. Um, Zed. Yeah, just carry on with witch bolting. Yeah. It's another 12. Ooh. Holy shit. <laughs> <dude. laughs> so it's just straight up 12? This is the first time the spell has worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and this one drives him to his knees and he screams in pain. Still standing, but is almost toppling as he's flailing about wildly. Um, Arthur. Well, if it's on his knees, I'll punch him square in the face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Big flying punch. Because he's knocked you back with a resounding blow, but you come back 
<coughs> I think it's like a 21 or something. Yes, that'll do. Yeah. So it's eight damage. Whew. He's he's teetering. He looks so close to falling. It's almost like that Rocky versus Apollo Creed fight where they're both staggering around the ring. But you're not staggering. Just him. <laughs> now do my <laughs> yeah. Do my own. Net one. Net one. Nice. A wild nice slip over. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wild swing and slip as you start to recover. Uh, J Rod. You can see this thing's barely standing. <laughs> Uh, I don't have, yeah, I don't have any more spells or anything that... Yeah, and it, you can also see he's not carrying any weapons or anything. He's, uh... I'm actually going to hide. Hide <laughs> <laughs> from the thing that's almost dead. <laughs> We're coming for you next time. Yeah. <laughs> if we can find him. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can roll a stealth check just yeah. to see how well you blend in. Oh. <laughs> We just can't find him after the fight. <laughs> <laughs> there is a young woman in there with mousy hair and glasses watching you. <laughs> watching wait, wait, quiz- quizzically. Okay. Yeah. I rolled a nine on my stealth check. Okay, yeah. She sees you clearly. There's <laughs> <laughs> your sort of... <laughs> uh, if I fail my stealth check, can I run out of the building now? Uh, yeah, yeah, because with a rogue, they actually get at second level, they can do stuff on, mm-hmm. as their bonus action, which a lot of people can't do. So you could use your, you've used a little bit of your movement. How much did you? Oh, I didn't. I have moved, yeah, 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 so yeah. yeah you've just can, done a stealth. Yeah. You've done a stealth, you realise you couldn't find anywhere good to hide. <laughs> yeah, it's but... like a bad game of hide and seek when you're looking around and you're like, oh, I can't back out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. so yeah she watches you sort of look around wildly and then curse a little and run back out the door and suddenly sprint off <laughs> exiting stage right um, and then we're up to a big O this guy's dropped to his knees you can see the back of his head as he's swaying dangerously okay. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll swing. 15? no yeah. 17 so hit. Four damage. That's enough. Big O, uh, Arthur, you're watching this thing in front of you and then suddenly you hear a mighty crack at the back of his head and its eyes roll in the back of his head and it falls forward and you back up just as it hits the snow, it's tusks bearing deep, face first, dead. Um, and old Tom comes out and sees yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> He's just been uh, in there with Trim Lane. Oh! No, he, he saw it, didn't he? <laughs> he's, he's got no excuse. <laughs> he ran back in looking for his arrows and stuff. Um, but he says, uh, good work with the fire, or these things just keep getting back up. <laughs> good work with the fire. So it just took that little bit of fire just to keep him down? It's a crazy rule. <laughs> <laughs> That's how life works, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was deep, bro. <laughs> I think I saw some ancient wisdom in these D&D games, eh? That's life, baby. Yeah, if they take any fire damage in a round, they don't regenerate. And if they are even brought to zero hit points and have taken no fire damage, they'll regenerate uh, back. Mm-hmm. No kidding. Yeah. I oh. thought ice. Fire, that'll work. Yeah. <laughs> that was my logic. <laughs> That's good. That one point. Yeah. Strange Shit, I'm enough. almost out of whiskey as well, eh? Head back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> screw it. I, don't, I like the fact that it takes it up to like a 20 AC. It's crazy. Mm. But it's 18 still pretty big. Mm. Yeah. You're going to need it though. Because yeah. how many hit points have you got? 21. Or 21, yeah. All right, speaking of, I might just heal it and word myself. Okay. Well, I'll make a note of that. Okay, now you guys have. Uh, you see this old guy's spread it off. What are you doing now, um, old fella? You run off to the side there. Yeah, I'm definitely hiding. <laughs> <laughs> Still getting my bearings. Okay. Can I go off and try and find him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys uh, make sure this thing's dead. doesn't carry any tre- treasure or anything, unfortunately. Um, he's just big snow trolls. Uh, and Big O 
looks around for the old guy. You did catch glimpses of him popping out, firing missiles at this uh, snow truck, so you, you wander off to try and find him. Let's have a um, perception versus stealth check. Can I give him advantage and sort of point in the direction he was going? Because <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm up on top of the wall. Yeah, yeah. You watch the old guy so run off. He's sort of duck, duck behind a rock. <laughs> So it's perception versus his stealth. Yeah, but you get advantage on your I get advantage. Because Zeph is uh, assisting you shouting. That way. <laughs> <laughs> You've narrowed the field of view. Yeah. Okay. Um, 16. Yeah, 16. What I rolled a 13. Oh, okay. So yeah, you see a rock and there's the crouched down feet sticking out the side. <laughs> 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 And every yeah. now and then it's him. <laughs> Pops up. Yeah. So yeah, you see him. Okay, I want to run over and jump on him. <laughs> <laughs> grab him and just be like, who sent you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can totally make a grapple check. So um, roll to see if you hit. I think you have to do first with the, the mm. grapple. I've got to roll to see if I hurt. Yeah. Am I, what modifier would I be using? Would it just be straight strength? Um, it's just unharmed, right? Yeah, and um, so you might be able to use your dex on that. Do you use your dex on your attacks? I use my dexterity on my attacks, yeah. Yeah, so add so, your dex. To okay, it. so plus three. Cool. But then it'll be a strength check afterwards oh, to uh, see if you hold them. Yeah. Um, six. While he's doing that, can I just go and talk to old Tom and uh -huh. see if he can, like, he's got some equipment to, like, skin the Yeti? Okay, cool. To take to take its pelt. Yeah. We're, we're white. Does a rabbit it. need more fur? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna start wearing it. <laughs> um, also, his tusks might be worth something too. They're yeah. like ivory, big mammoth tusks. Yeah, we'll take them too. Yeah. Uh, what are you two? Uh, you're pointing. Mm -hmm. Are you doing anything? Uh, <laughs> I'm very hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you? <laughs> I'll go find and trim later. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, she just saw oh, you. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I can heal you again. Oh, oh shit, it was a net one, bro. <laughs> okay. You see this gnome leap over this rock at you, but surprisingly fast, this old man rolls out the way and is suddenly back up on his feet. And it was almost that acrobatic beautiful manoeuvre to avoid your attack. <laughs> also, you partially stumble and trip over the rock as you <laughs> smash your face. <laughs> so you're not quite sure if it was you or him that caused it. But yeah, so you, you're now face to face with this. And then I'm like, whoa, 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 I don't want trouble. When you try to, when I, when I do my backflip out of your like, grasp. Oh, that's pretty funny, bro. You've a lot, a lot of trouble here, though, eh? <laughs> What's your deal, bro? You can't just bring yetis into our camp and then just fuck off because that's not cool. Um, we've had to deal with a lot of shit the last few days. You rock up, don't know who you are. You look like... <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah, yeah, what do you, you look like? like, like yeah. Also, you, these guys are going to describe themselves to you. you. You are currently being berated by... <laughs> I mean, um... Forest gnome, something about... Yay big, probably. Um, got some pretty slick gears on there. Eh? Yeah, you're wearing your good gears at the moment. Got a sick mullet. Um, just probably a little bit rough looking, eh? Like, aside from the good clothes, look, the rest of them will look a little bit scruffy. Like he's just come into some money. Possibly. Yeah, just <laughs> come into a bit of cash, eh? Yeah. <laughs> but you can't take the boy out of Ota, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, um, so, yeah, uh, just this, um, old, limber, flexible, fit guy, acrobatic out of the way, with his tattered, colorful robes and a hat on, um, uh, with his long white hair, um, he has no, he has, like, a spellbook at his side, but otherwise is, has really no possessions or anything on him, um, and then he's... Yeah, he gets into the, the arg I guess, an argument with you, <laughs> braiding you back. I don't know where I am! I don't know what's going on! <laughs> oh, that sounds pretty existential, bro. I mean, where, where are any of us really? Um, you know, it's, it's neither here nor there. And it's, and it's pretty, fucking cold! Yeah, it's fucking cold, it's all relative, bro. Look, these are my boys. Um, you obviously were getting chased down by, I don't know what you did to him, but, you know, I'm not going to ask because, you know, I don't judge. Um, so, I mean... You're yeah. welcome to come over and have a chat with the boys, but if you want to become one of us, you know you've got to do a dance-off with me. That's how we settle things. That's how you get initiated into the gang, bro. 
Um, I don't know if you know anything about gang life, but this is uh, Big O and the boys. <laughs> Me being Big O, they might not say the same thing, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. I'm the leader. Um, so yeah, if you, need, if you need some help, then all good. If you mean us no harm, then all good. Just don't bring any more yetis into camp. Um, it's a general rule of thumb we like to follow. Um, <laughs> So yeah, feel free to feel free to rock over. Um, you got some pretty good tricks, bro. I like a bit of break dancing too. I'll show you it later if I hadn't slipped over that rock. But I've sprained my ankle a little bit, and you know that's not good. So let's uh, head back over there, and you can tell us what's going on. Can I can I come inside and get bored? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you two start to make your way back. Old Tom is already with you, uh, Nibble, showing you how you skin a snow job. <laughs> They're not really, they're not a yeti. Yeah, so, I keep thinking yeti. Yeah. Like so they're not covered in fur and stuff. They're blue skinned. Yeah, let's um, not skin it. Let's <laughs> not skin it. Yeah, but he says, uh, the tasks. Yeah, he's got a Take small tasks. hand hand saw. He says yeah. we can definitely grab these uh, tusks and maybe get a bit of money for them. Um, so yeah, um, Big O and have you introduced your, your name in that conversation? No, I haven't. Okay. My yeah, he's not yeah. His brain is very focused on getting into the yeah. He's freezing. <laughs> he's obviously not in clothes for this weather. It's a threadbare. It used to be a fine robe, but it's now it's just threads and falling yeah. apart. And you are actually quite surprised that he's lasted this long out here. He's totally come unprepared. Um, so you come into that house. Is this uh, the mousy girl with the? She's holding a book and a pen and she's writing down furiously and uh, she looks up and says, Oh, oh, uh, you can help me here. What was your name? Dad, dad, dad. Yeah, uh-huh, dad. <laughs> dad? Yeah. As in father? <laughs> no. Uh, dad, T-H-E-T-H-D. -E -T -H -E. uh, writing that down. Dad? Oh, dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so she writes that down. And um, Can I get some warm clothes? <laughs> uh, and she looks up and says, you can speak to old Tom, you might have some in the, uh, might have brought some spears along. You guys might even have spears. Right? I think we will. I'll, yeah. I'll pipe up and be like, oh yeah, bro, so you've got a couple of options, eh? We've got some snow clothes. Um, I'm wearing a, wing, a ring of warmth. You can have that if you want it, but you've got to get it off me first. And like, I'm falling <laughs> my dick. <laughs> the tears just there, bro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trim Lane's just walked out with it. <laughs> <laughs> turns, turns back and walks back into the room. So I'll be out of five minutes. So it's so. your choice, bro. You can either have this one and I'll put on the clothes. Otherwise, you can have the clothes and I'll keep this here. It feels pretty good. I don't really want to get rid of it, but up to you, bro. I'm a pretty generous guy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Your choice, bro. Yeah, you, you don't, don't judge. judge. Uh, so <laughs> did you say you whipped your dick out? Yeah, yeah because okay. my, my ring of warmth is on my dick. <laughs> You have to take it. Yeah, you've got to draw yeah. that, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be a very pixelated drawing. <laughs> I can't, like, sleight of hand steal it from him, can I? No, you can just no. pull it off. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or you've been offered warm clothes. I, I offered you other clothes. I bought some uh, yeah. uh, ones again. Yeah. I'll take the clothes. Yeah. <laughs> so, because for you, this could be one of the customs of the land. You know, you know, <laughs> can I know. hand him over the, 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 the winter clothes that were made for me? <laughs> <laughs> we can start. Yeah. yeah, he hands you some kids' clothes. <laughs> <laughs> And old, old Tom says, oh, come on, lad. <laughs> We've got some others in the back there, too. And they, he's got a few winter jackets. And I, go, I go dig out and find yeah. me uh, some pants yeah. and clothes and warm clothing. Yeah, don't let these lads uh, mess with you, old fella. This uh, big O's been trying to get me to grab his <laughs> ring of warm Thor trip. <laughs> <laughs> Sick of it. Um, yeah, so... How many? How badly injured are you? Oh, not that bad. I'm down to 31 out of 46. Oh, oh you're so not even injured. What are you talking about? <laughs> cool. Um, Three times why I have one. Trimlane can try heal you. She's only got a few heals per day. Yep, I can't have that. I'll probably be alright, to be honest. I don't, maybe one, one little heal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, alright, I'll give you one. Just a little one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so she heals you, oh, an 8 plus 3, 11. Perfect. So yeah, this warmth suddenly starts flooding through you and the claw marks from the Yeti start to scab over and heal. And you're a fast healer anyway, so your natural metabolism is kicking in too. Mm. Um, 
Yeah, the good thing about these uh, yak wounds too, I forgot to mention, is there are three saddles on each, each one. They're quite long, and uh, Gunther gave you one each more as a show of how established his house is and everything, and he thought it'd be more magnificent you're all riding out rather than just on two wounds on six of them. So yeah, there's a spare saddle, um, and we'll say, um, yeah, Big Tom's in the front, so he's going to have his own worm, because uh, Trim, Trim Lane's going to still ride in the middle. Uh, who are you going to grab a lift with? I have to grab a lift. Yeah, we're riding oh. big worms. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys probably have to explain a bit to uh, the old yeah. fellow. Yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll, we're actually we'll going back that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have, we're going to grin, so if you want to get out now, is probably a good time. Yeah, where are y'all going? Uh, we were hired by uh, some guy to go and check out some ruins. Uh, might be some gold, some magic there. Probably a suicide mission. Yeah, yeah, we're a bit of a suicide squad, I guess you could say. <laughs> you don't I have to come with us, bro. Yeah, we've got a contract. <laughs> You're not part of it, so don't expect anything out of it. But we'll keep you safe, bro. It's all good. Um, but like I said, if you want to be one of us, bro, you've yeah. got a break dancer. Oh, yeah, we'll have a dance off. If <laughs> yeah. you like. So, yeah, if they go, um, when you put down this challenge, yeah. are you going to accept? What kind of gear can you all give me? I, what? We, we just <laughs> gave you some cloaks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but I can't contribute. Yeah. You don't got to come with us, bro, if you don't want to. Like, you can. It's all good. Um, but here, you got to do a dance off. I would like to go back to a town or civilization. Um, but I don't know where or when or how or any details. Mm. So we can take you there, but like as we said, gonna we're right going. Right. Yeah. So yeah. for me to yeah. contribute, I need a weapon. What do you? What do? You, what weapons? Do you do have you a bow or a crossbow or? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll hand you a dagger. A dagger. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Mabel just dagger. goes. You don't have claws. And goes. <laughs> <laughs> if the dagger is all you have, I will take a dagger. Um, but first, I need how to. Did you, how did you get out here looking like that? Yeah, what the fuck happened to you, bro? I'm still trying to figure that out. Oh, it's like a, it's like an amnesia situation. Oh, did you no, like night last night, bro. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I was in a presentation for um, demonstrating a spell, and something has gone wrong. And yeah, and he just looks down at himself, and it's very wrong. What kind of spells can you cast? Uh, what I just showed you is about the most of it. I was part of a uh, cabal of mages, and I was the volunteer, and I have been sent somewhere, and I don't know where. So you're basically a test dummy, bro. Yes, exactly. Huh. You get paid for much for that? <laughs> so we're have... always looking for jobs. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no pay as an apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like they took you on a trip, bro. <laughs> So what is the stance off? Oh, well, first I'll put down my moves because um, you know I'm the leader, so it's better that I demonstrate it first, and you see what you're up against, which is pretty, pretty big. Um, and then you go afterwards, eh? and then we'll let the uh, we'll let the boys we'll <laughs> put it down to a vote. Um, to be honest, even if you fail, it doesn't really matter if you still want to come with us. It's all good. Like you know, it's just nice to have good dance skills in the group because we are something of a boy band. Um, so. <laughs> You know, there's no girls here apart from her, but she's a bit weird, so don't worry. Um, she so yeah. Is, yeah, is, is she still worried? Now? I want to get and see what she's writing. <laughs> get her yeah. over her shoulder. Okay. Um, yeah, she's writing and she sees you, but she keeps writing and you can read it. It's very just matter of fact, yeah. dry stuff. But the interesting thing is, as the words are written, they, um, they're written in a red pen. And as they're written, they um, you can see them glow softly and then fade to black. Right. So he's going to stop pretending to be stealthy and just go, wow, how does that work? <laughs> she goes, it's just a simple book of sending. I send Gunther what's going on. He embellishes. People are following your tail back at Wildgate every day. Oh, there's a lot for him to embellish in that one, eh? Oh. <laughs> what else has she written down? <laughs> She's been... Yeah, she... <laughs> <laughs> she said there was some sort of exchange proposed, um, though it involved Big O's nether regions, <laughs> and the new stranger wisely chose the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that we uh, saved someone instead of murdering old ladies? 
Uh, yes, I just put down the facts. It's up to Gunther how he wants to interpret it. Right? And I, I, to be honest, I don't know if he wants you to have a good name. I guess we'll see what he says when you Well, get we can back. always go back to the guy with the printing press and write our own story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that nobles kind of looks down. He's like, yeah, you guys can go back. <laughs> oh, don't worry, man. There's places in that city you can hide. Right, so the caravan starts to head off. Six. No, I have to do a dance first. Oh, right? sorry. Yeah, 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 sorry. <laughs> yeah, so what we're going to do is you can either choose acrobatics or performance to see how you go. And they go, first of all, you have to describe what you're going for, and then we'll see how well you do it. Oh, uh, yeah, so um, Big O's going to... Am I explaining it as Big O? Or am I just explaining <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, so my dad taught me these moves. Uh, he called this one the robot. Don't really know what a robot is, but all good. Um, there's also a thing yeah. that he likes to do called moonwalking. Uh-huh. That's when I walk backwards, but it looks like my feet aren't moving properly. I don't even know, but you know, whatever, bro. But I, I was pretty good at this stuff after seeing my moves. Okay. Um, me and him used to practice together back in the backyard and shit, but you know, it's been a while. Um, so let's give it a go. And um, yeah, I'll use acrobatics because my acrobatics is like plus six. <laughs> That 20. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys see the most amazing thing you've ever witnessed in your life. It's almost... You suck, we all start yeah. crying. Yeah. <laughs> Tears are in your eyes. It's almost mechanical to start off with. And then he's moving forward, but you can swear he's going backwards. <laughs> or is it the other way? Go. Yeah, and it's like sorcery to you. And Big O is... You can't even tell which direction he's going. His feet are moving in tandem. It's an amazing experience. Yeah, you, you undersold that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and was like, I didn't realise you had magic too. <laughs> no, like I said, bro, my dad taught me those moves. He was a, um, you know, he had big dreams of being a dancer once, but he, uh, you know, he screwed up his leg on a night on the piss and he could never dance again. It's a very tragic story. Um, he doesn't really like to repeat it, but it's all good. But he taught me what he knew. Um, and this is how me and Arthur used to pull chicks, or at least I did. Um, you know, Arthur tried his best. Yeah. I mean, we can get after the door dance if you want to, but like, I don't think he really ever clicked. Yeah. But maybe that's just a dwarven ways, you know, whatever. Yeah, even trim lanes in priest. <laughs> when you say, and that's how we used to pull checks on that, you can see you're nodding a lot. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be amazing if you get a net twenty, bro. Yeah, like, right, that, but, yeah, you. Yeah, uh, that, that walks up and he starts to stretch, trying to like pump himself up. <laughs> And uh, he, he gives, it, gives it his best shot. <laughs> no, I got, a, I got a 13. You rolled a 13? Yeah, and then so 20 total. Still pretty good. Yeah, it's still pretty good. Yeah. yeah, so this old guy, what sort of moves are you doing? Are you trying the same thing? Yeah, yeah, I just, yeah, because, yeah, I was trying to mimic. Um, yeah, we're going to say with a 20, you like, still look like you are moving forward when you're yeah, going. And this old guy's got the moves. <laughs> yeah, he looks graceful. He looks um, like... He doesn't even look nervous about performing. This is, uh, he's in his element. Yeah. And yeah, he earns all your respect. Yeah. I'll sit and be like, bro, those moves are so sick, bro. I love that. Like, those are some moves I haven't seen before. I still think mine were better. But, you know, like, maybe we could teach each other. But if you want to be part of the crew, then feel free, eh? Come with us. I, yeah. I think you're in, man. <laughs> yeah. You even get the feeling you've moved up a few times. <laughs> <laughs> some other people. <laughs> All right, so the caravan heads out, and what we're going to do is we're going to roll for encounters for the morning, the lunch, and the evening. We just had an encounter, man. I know, so <laughs> you've, you've moved beyond the patrol here <coughs> in this stark, dangerous wildland where predators stalk, um, adventurers have to stay in packs, be well geared to take it on. So there's a 2 in 10 chance I just, of an encounter at this. Just before we head off... Mm-hmm. Um, Hey old Tom, are you gonna yeah. keep your bow and arrow ready this time? <laughs> <laughs> you guys were fine, I just wanted to see what you were made of. Uh, yeah, well, I want to see what you're made of in the next fight. <laughs> he says, you see that tree stump over there? It, the one 500 yards from here? <laughs> <laughs> he hits it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. It'd be cool if you could, you know, hit an enemy next time. <laughs> And do you have limited arrows? Do we need to go and pick that up for we you? We do. <laughs> 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 got to be our opportunity again. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, so EB is off, clicks the arrow. Um, and yeah, he says, I'll be there when you guys need me the most. Look to the west. <laughs> <laughs> and the caravan heads off. Um, as we said, it's a, a beautiful start to the day, crystal clear. It is a strong frost, though, and uh, thank God for your rings of warmth, but even with your um, fad, with your clothing, it's is biting. All these others have been equipped with rings of warmth to help them with these temperatures. Uh, you're coping with it, with your heavy woolen stuff, but um, yeah, not a, these guys look quite comfortable. Are you just in your like, wife, Peter? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm wearing the, um, the, the new clothes that I bought from that place. Oh, right, I'm right. just not wearing the Windsor gear. Yeah, you paid a lot of money for that, if I remember correctly. For the winter gear or for the clothes? Because we, we got basic winter gear, but you got something extra up market or something. Oh, no, because I, I, I got winter gear clothes, but I bought... Um, fancy. Yeah, I bought like fancy kind of like... Like, like little trim. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, it was... Um, it would have been like, like almost like a leather type fashionable thing, mm-hmm. but it's, it's quite tight fitting and shit. Like it's not yeah. like... It's not supposed to be armour or anything mm-hmm. like that. And it's got a bit of insulation and stuff. Too, yeah. So, but you're wearing a warmth. And especially when you, yours is placed, covered, keeps you really warm. Because you're only gnome height as well. That's what I was thinking. Bro. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> Gotta keep it centralised, bro. <laughs> okay, so uh, we'll start with you, Zeph. You get to roll a d10. See if a one or a two is trouble. Two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so roll two for. Right, let's head out! <laughs> Another troll runs out. <laughs> XP, right? Are we doing XP or are we doing that? milestone? Are we doing XP or are we doing milestone? Milestone. Oh. You get that XP farm with three percent of But yeah, your um, unspeakable to you, something was hunting the snow troll. Oh, <laughs> fucking, yeah, yeah. I drank. Now we test you, boys. Um. And it's the dragon on out. See that. That's a surprise. It's got that that DM look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't know. It, it's going to be a straight up initiative roll. As you're ready to head out. Um, From beneath the snow, something's been moving fast beneath the snow and ice, and outbursts this huge, steaming serpent with a massive wing-like flares with hooks and claws on the edge of the flared fins, um, and a mouth, wide mouth opens, brimmed with jagged teeth, and you can just see steam pouring off this, the snow melting all around it, and. It just screams a scream as it comes plunging into your camp. And old Tom goes, <coughs> going to have to help you with this one, boys. <laughs> so we haven't gone anywhere. Yeah, just <laughs> out. Damn it, Dad! It's <laughs> <laughs> more bad as well. <laughs> yeah, time for a dance off. <laughs> <laughs> Initiative rolls again, people. A 16 for me. He got a 21. I got an 18. 18 for Fed. I got a 19. 19 for me too. Okay. What's your dex, Bigger? My straight dexterity score. Yeah, we just say he's got the most dex goes first. Um, it's uh, 17. Yeah, so you'll go first. Bigger and Z. What do you get after? 8. 8. No. <laughs> this isn't looking good already. What did you get? I got 16. Oh, that's right. Um, Does anyone want the last of these? Yeah. Now I'm just going to chuck the stuff out and go to the bathroom real quick. <clears throat> just cross. Okay, I'm going to roll it. Ooh. I'm going to roll a d8 to see who it burst out of the snow at 
as your caravan is leaving, this huge creature, winged serpent almost. It's not winged, it's like a big... So thing. we're still like in our... Let's put ourselves in a line now. And uh, you decide who you're riding with, Thad. Um, so we're going to have big old Tim at the front. Right. front. Does he have a model? Old Tom. On the carrot worm at the front. And then the girl. Yeah. Trim lane can be in the middle here on her little worm. So does everyone have a worm? Uh, yeah. Everyone has a worm. And maybe they've got three saddles per worm, so you can just choose who you jump on with. Yeah, just, I don't know, just jump on. Yeah, that works if you like, just jump on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Have you got a figure there, uh, J-Rod? Do it, no, I don't. I don't have my oh, own. Oh, it wasn't yeah. this one? Yeah, yeah. The, the white one yeah. was, yeah. So yeah. you can jump on with me at that. Yeah. Okay, let's roll. And you'll be able to see over me because I'm real short. Yeah. D8. Let's see who it leaps at. A five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> it's about time for the attack. <laughs> so is that you? Is that what you're yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, so I shall This is it here. <laughs> it bursts out of the snow, leaps and almost soars across as it <laughs> kills it. <Zephyr. laughs> Right, you got another spell caster, just join the party. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to use spells. This is what we're fighting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it does a um, plus six to hit. Holy. Oh, oh did it go first? Uh, yeah, 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 it got a 21. Holy. And it randomly chose Zeph <laughs> to leap out, out of the snow. And it rolled a 17 plus 6. Yeah. Plus 6. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be 3d10 piercing. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's a percentage dice. Is it if it doubles his hit points, that's him like straight yeah. dead? Instant dead, yeah. yeah. Holy. I shouldn't do that though. 3. Hey man, we did it to Betty. Plus 3 is 6. Plus eight is fourteen. Plus four is eighteen. But it also does another. <laughs> it does fire damage to you as well. <laughs> Two six. So what did I say it was? Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. Plus four. Plus one. So another five. Twenty three points of damage. I'm I'm out, but I'm not dead. <laughs> okay, and you guys suddenly. Those at the front just hear it, but this huge creature grabs Zep in its maw, leaps and slithers over its caterpillar and ragdolls Zep into the air and throws him as it swirls around coming back at you. Old Tim, yeah. Old Tim's <laughs> yeah. joining in too. <laughs> oh, he's only got a... He's, he's last in it though. Old Tom, sorry. <clears throat> okay boys, this is... Ten foot. Pretty dire. <laughs> So this thing's hectic, is it? Yeah. Wait, so it is that far away from us? Um, it's leapt over. Grabbed him, shook him around, turned, and we'll say it's back here. Zef is down there. Okay. So within 10 feet. Yeah, okay, cool. Steam is already pouring off the snow and everything around it. Cool. Well, I'm that. Whose turn is it? Um, oh, sorry. Then it's Big O's turn. Oh, okay. Um, have the whiskey effects worn off? I uh, will say no, even though there was a bit of dancing and stuff going on. Um, this thing's been That's following... That's why you rolled the 20. <laughs> that, um, this guy's been stalking that snow troll, so he's been pretty close. This is almost as you're heading off. <coughs> okay. Um, yeah, well, I'm just going to run straight in then. Whatever. Um, and just, yeah, I've just got to swing on him. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, 13 to hit. Um, it's a miss. Just. Okay. Just, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use Flurry of Blows. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, where's my key points? Do you have something strike you? Nah, bro. Flurry of blows to attack two more times. 13 plus 5, 18. Okay. hit. 4 damage. Yeah. And if you hit it, this thing is burning to the touch. And you take one point of fire damage. Okay, and the second roll was a two, so... Okay, and yeah, the first, that first blow hits it solidly, but yeah, your hands start blistering as you hit it, and the second, your second one is weak as you're in shock from touching this thing. Cool, um, and as part of my drunken technique, I can disengage and my walking speed increases by 10 feet, so I used 15 feet nice. to get there, which gives me 35 feet left so i'll go 5 10 15 20 25 30 oh shit sorry 5 10 15 20 25 30 i'll go over there it's a good idea yeah so you had it and then you almost stagger and roll and then start moonwalking away and it's <laughs> yeah. like oh my god he's right next to me but he's moving away and he can't figure out how to attack you I'm taking a page out of thad's book yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Zeph is lying gurgling in the snow. Thad. Uh, can I get behind it at all? You can. Because, well, I just, are we still in the same terrain? Like, with the... Yeah. Yeah. What, is it the full length? Like, what is considered behind? I feel like it can just be here and that's sufficient. Yeah, yeah. Um... Conserve one square in case. So I'm just gonna attack it when he just runs. He just starts sprinting in uh, <laughs> with his dagger. With his dagger. Okay, so uh, roll to hit. You gotta get a beat of 14 armor class. Okay, hang on. Let's see if I can do this. No, that's the damage roll. How do I attack with this? Uh... It's that one there. Go back. So that's. Oh yeah, to roll one. Thirteen. Oh. Do you that where my turn would have been? Um, We've just <clears> passed your turn. Can I? Success. Okay. Dorian so. Nice. Can I then run back in stealth? Um, yeah, the problem is you'll it, get a... Attack of opportunity yeah, on Yeah, but me. you get a bonus action where you can disengage and move away 15 feet. Because you're a rogue, you get the disengage bonus action. Which means he doesn't get an attack of opportunity. All right, let's do that. Okay. But then I can't stealth? Um, no. no. No? Okay. Yeah. But I can be, I could, could I come up, like, can I do anything for dying? He has got a, um, you do, uh, give me a perception check as you look at him. So um, if you get over 10, I'll say it's pretty obvious to see, but you might not see it in the heat of battle. Will we get a healing potion? You were given a bandolier or something. <coughs> I'm just going to see if he knows. Yeah. Oh, what about, oh, no. I could actually note those down. Yeah, I didn't put them down. I did. Hold on. Yeah. I can tell you what we've got. It's You threw a lot of inventory at us in one yeah. day. Three potions of healing, and I think it was heroism ones. Two heroism ones. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the heroism ones. The heroism ones give us... Ten temporary hit points and bless, basically. Yeah, okay, cool. And it's action to use it, right? Um, I'll say bonus action. Okay, cool. I've rolled a perception of 13. <coughs> you notice, especially with your arcane studies, he's got a bandolier with uh, five potions attached to them, and you recognise that three of them are healing potions. They're the red-coloured liquid that you've dealt with and even helped okay. people make. Can I make any more actions in my turn? No, you've used your attack okay. action, your movement, and your bonus action yeah, okay, to disengage. Cool. But you're holding over. But I'm over positioned him. by him now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Let's. Uh, oh, yep. Okay. Nibbles. <clears throat> okay. Um, I can't cast two spells in one turn, right? Even if the one has to be a Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't work. Okay. Cool. Um, I will cast Wither and Bloom, um, centered here, mm -hmm. uh, and I select the targets, this one, mm -hmm. and um, I will attempt to um, 
basically it does damage yeah. um, on a saving throw. The, it's got to make a saving throw. And then it can heal someone of my choice within mm-hmm. the area. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing, yeah. dude. Even if you miss, um, oh, do you have to hit? It just says, in addition, one creature of choice can spend one to roll one of its unspent hit die to regain a number of hit points equal to your roll, okay. to the roll plus the spell casting modifier. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yep, so I will throw that out, mm-hmm. and it's, it's a constitution saving throw. Okay, it's plus three. 13 plus 3? Yeah, no, it, it, it survived. Um, but it takes half as much damage, so I okay. rolled 2d6, and it takes that much necrotic. 5. Um, so that's 9, and then half of 9 is 4. Okay, cool. Yeah. So it takes 4 necrotic, and if there's any non-magical vegetation within the area, that withers. <laughs> Uh, he has to fail the save to get the healing effect? No. No, so you um, can spend a hit die. One of your hit die. One hit die. Yep. So the side you've had, you see Z. Something sit Th- up. Three plus three. So three plus six. three. Six hit points. Yes. Badly wounded, um, but he's staggering back up. Um, bonus action nibbles. Can you. <coughs> No, I want to do something with concentration, so there's no point in me using it. Okay. Um, Because this thing is just going to be randomly attacking people. Yeah, no, I will just hold it. I I, like otherwise it's a waste of a spell if I trigger it early. Okay. Arthur. Right. Um, You big steamy bastard. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, I'll jump off Mm -hmm. my uh, my yak worm. Yeah. And fly into a rage mm-hmm. and battle cry. And You're going straight for its yeah. head. <laughs> We're gonna and I'll try to punch it right in the nose like you do a shark. Um, okay. Spirits forming around her again. There's a huge howl as the dwarf leaps off his yak worm. Uh, I think it's 10. Ten it hurts. It's a mess. Uh, yeah, and then bonus action was the rage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, no luck, but you're in a rage, which is good. Seeing red, the whole world turns red. Old Tom, he's going to take two arrow shots. <laughs> two and a one. To see these two arrows just fly off and just yeah. hit that same tree. That <laughs> so as the will sees him go to attack, he cheers, and then it's just like, oh. Okay. Seems pretty proud about putting that stun for you. Okay, remote, uh, the big creature goes four. Number four. Who was it? It was Tom. <laughs> it wasn't Z4. Uh, it was five. Uh, oh, Trimline was Trimline. four. Trimline. It's going for Trimline. Oh, shit. <laughs> She's screaming she above her yak yeah, as a sling. <laughs> goes at her. Oh, and misses. Oh, wait. No, he has plus seven. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Does, does it just go over top of me? Or? Yeah, so she gets disadvantage, right? Gets... No, because I, I have to attack it oh. each turn for it to keep going. Do you have to hit it or just attack it? Uh, I think it's a. Because you did attack. attack. Right? I did attack, yeah. Yeah. Um, the first creature you hit, yeah. So I have to hit it for it to. Oh, okay. She's it. She won't die if she goes to zero, though, we'll say. Because she's, um, what was it? 3d10, wasn't it? Yeah, and it just rips her off the mount, and you see it disappear over the, the side as it again leaps onto the other side. And she, uh, you can see her body still in the snow, lying still. So, uh, let's move. Big wormy, she's there. And he's leapt over here. He's thrashing around. Steam is starting to fill the area. Um, because it moved over Arthur, Arthur does Arthur give him an opportunity attack? Oh, yeah, totally give him that. Oh, and if you hit, I'll give him disadvantage. 22? 
Yeah, so he'll get disadvantage on that attack too. Because your spirits oh, right. yeah. Yeah, hooked in. So yeah, roll your damage. Uh, plus, uh, I think it's a five. Nice. Okay, and I'll just roll again for this guy. I think it's a hit. So yeah, she did go down. Even your spirits can't even slow this thing as you see them writhing around <coughs> it, whirling, but this is huge and it takes takes out Trimley. Um they go back to the top. Let me just see. Can we hit on diagonals? Is that yes. yeah it is yeah. That, yeah. So if I go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, I take it it's heads ending in the square. Um so. yeah. Also, sorry, Joe, you take one seven points of fire damage as your Fists start to blister from hitting this thing. Is running an option? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, don't be a running. Running's always an option. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to... So all my movement takes me up to this thing diagonal it, right next to... Mm-hmm. Thing. So like I'm taking it, its head is in the square, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use my bonus action to take a potion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to use my bonus action to take that potion of heroism, which gives me the temporary hit points, right? And yeah. then basically cast Bless. So that's like, what, yeah. 1d4? Yeah. Okay. Um, that's 1d4 to your hits and stuff. Is what? it 1d4 to hits or is it 1d4 to damage? 1d4 to hits, right? Yeah. 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 And saves. Why won't it let me do this temp <clears throat> shit? Oh my god, this app is just going mental. Sorry. 10, but a boom. Um, that was my bonus action. And then I'm just going to straight swing on it. Because I feel like if we're going to kill this thing, I could use Bless on every single mm. like flurry of blows or like whatever. Totally. Yeah. Uh, so that is, what's my D20? The problem is it's, it's got this. Uh, yeah, I know. Because <laughs> I could have you down too the more you hit it. 17. Oh, that's, that's a hit anyway, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. So that's like 25. Uh, and then it's 1d4 plus 3. 5 damage. Cool. And you take 7 fire damage. Holy shit. And you've got 10 temporary extra hit points. Yeah. Yeah. So that's fine. Could you be like Leap the Troll Corpse so it would go for that instead? <laughs> that looks says no. <laughs> it's come across this feast of yak worms and, and people. Um, and that's my turn. Okay. That was good. Can I just make a snowball and throw it at it? <laughs> you can throw the dagger. Yeah, you also get sneak attack against the, the Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I was trying the first time. I missed the. Yeah. 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 I can throw the dagger. Yeah. <laughs> you can totally throw the dagger. Would I get hurt if I. No, it's only if you are in uh, melee attack, it basically sort of almost flames and that are bursting out of it. Um, <clears throat> can I sneak attack? Throwing a dagger? Yeah. If it's engaged with other people, which it is. Yeah. So I can, from my current position? Yeah. Can I... Well, he's back up, so he can tend to himself. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> You're all right. Get back up. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to... I'm just going to uh, throw the dagger, and I got... You know, if, I, if it does hit, it's a sneak attack as well? Yeah. Okay. Got to hit it. And it's a standard attack? Yeah. Or is it it's... like... Yeah, because you're dexterity based, you can throw daggers. I have done a 15 attack. Yep, the dagger sinks into its side and you find a weak spot, so I think you roll an extra d6, isn't it? Okay, so I do my damage roll, yep. which is 4 plus a d- the sneak attack, 2, so 6 damage. 6. Okay, it's still looking fairly strong, ignoring these blows as it's writhing around. Hmm. Uh, can I stealth as well? 
Um, bonus action, yes. So Does you, that take exhaustion in? Or no, it's only dashing. Dashing. Yeah. Okay. So give me a stealth roll, and if he, and I'll give him this perception to see if he knows you're there. And if he doesn't know you're there, that takes you out of the random lineup. Yeah. yeah. So t uh, brought a twelve on stealth. Okay. He. Rolled an eight. Yeah. So, yeah, you drop down in the snow. I've thrown the dagger and I've just gone straight yeah. down. <laughs> Staying low. And, uh, yeah, you, you don't know if it doesn't see you or not, but yeah. feeling pretty confident. You've got a lot of snow and stuff around you. Um, it was that bad. So, Nibbles. Nibbles, call, cast Summon Beast. Nice, that'll add it to the rotation. Yep, to summon a wolf. Okay, so have you got a stat line for that guy? Yeah, I do. And does he follow you in the initiative? Or? Yeah, he's, he acts directly after me. So he'll get Okay, cool. Yep. And he'll go here. You hear a distant howl as suddenly a, a wolf just materialises behind the side of the It's also a bunny wolf, because... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Funny wolf. Because... <laughs> Because flavour. Um, and then for um, bonus action, I will um, wild shape into um, Buddy Bear. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't hear it, Matt just said, thank God. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so yeah, you transform into this huge, burly, bunny bear. But you're still a dwarf by this creature. Steam all around, you see shapes moving, daggers flying past. This wolf now gets a... Attack. Yep. Um, so I will go to. Sorry. There's no quick way to pull it up. I have to get it every time. Okay, cool. So he's got actually multi attack and awesome. pack tactics. Um, so he is within. Oh, does she count even though she's prone? Oh no, you guys have 10 foot from the front. Yeah, no. yeah. So he's got advantage. Um, cool. Your spell attack modified hit. Okay, that's cool. So it is 12, 15. Mm -hmm. And it's 1d8. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus the spell's level. So 10, 11. Oh, that's awesome. 11 piercing damage. 11 piercing damage? So yep. Takes... But he takes, you see, fire. Yep. Look around him and he yelps, he takes four points of fire damage. Four? Okay, so he's still alive. Multi attack, so like second attack. Um, so that's 11, and that one was 11, so they're both to 11, so it's 11, 12, 13, 14. Exactly what you need. Yeah. Three, so 1d8, which is 3 plus 4, that's 7, 8, 9, 10. And he takes oh, it. Sorry, 9 piercing damage. Great. He looks bloody! Yeah, go, go bunny wolf. <laughs> but he takes another four of fire as his... Four? Yeah, okay. skin starts. So that was... Did you say that was nine damage? Nine for the second one, yeah. yeah. So that was four plus... What was the first number? It's four again, four. so eight total. So eight, okay, cool. So the wolf is almost looking bloody. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's another target out there. Now. Yeah. He can take Trimlane's place in there. Um... So that was Nibbles and the Wolf, Arthur. Uh, I'll nick my Heroism Potion. Bonus action? Yep. And then I'll swing on him. Okay. Uh, 16. It's a hit. Wait, what am I doing damage? Uh, eight damage. Eight damage, that's nice. And you take six fire damage. But yeah, this thing's starting to be caked in its blood. Uh, still looking strong, but you know you're, you're making inroads in it now. Old Tom. Hello. Hey. Hey, is it Joshua, is it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you want to turn the lights back on? Yeah, I didn't cut on. I did, yes. Oh, dang it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Old Tom's going to take two shots. That one hits. Two hit. Doing 
for seven. You get telling you where you can go home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Ryan's 40, already talked to them. So. Two arrows sink into it and then burst into flames, but they've damaged them well. They've sunk deep. Think you guys are going to do it? <laughs> 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 okay, but then we go back to the top. Famous last words, man. Let's see who goes. For it. You know, I hit him, so he used disadvantage. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I feel like I missed a, missed a go last time. You were unconscious. Did um, you, and then I healed him. Yeah. On yeah. my turn, so you missed him in the second turn. Oh, so does his turn move back down to... Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. I always... I was, what was I? I was like 19 or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we had you miss a turn because you're unconscious. Yeah. Um, and then... Yeah. So it hasn't come back around yet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're... But weren't you, weren't, weren't you five? Hmm? <laughs> I just knocked a five. <laughs> <laughs> So the question is, Matt, does he get a turn or not? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Because um, how do you play? Do you just I move him down the initiative order to when he steps up? Yeah, I feel like that makes sense. Yeah, they, they would, they'd end up at the very bottom of the roster, right? So, yeah, he would have jumped after me because I healed him, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Zed, before the, before the uh, huge steaming cobra worm has a go, what are you going to do? Get the fuck out. You notice that he's eyeing you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, it's really I'm, I was going to be conservative, but no. Um, I am going <laughs> to uh, yeah. misty step and overcharge it with a sorcery point so I go 60 feet. Nice, dude. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Over there. Mm-hmm. But if he attacks you, we can't reach him. Um, and like that's technically a bonus that's action good. spell, but I can take a potion with an action, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll just do a. What's my? What do I roll for a healing potion? Um. I have to look at that. Um, but I think it's two d six plus something. I might just say it here. Two d four plus two. Two d four plus two. Five seven. Seven. That's like almost at max. Okay. Now I've got to make a choice here what this worm's going to do. Would he go for you now that he's seen you off in the distance and he's surrounded? What I'm going to do is... I'll, what's his intelligence? <laughs> Three. <laughs> Four. So... Yeah, what are you going to do, worm? <laughs> keep, keep it around. Yeah. Follow his instinct. Because he's, he's got a taste for Zeph. <laughs> <laughs> Zeph tasted good. And he looked at you and then you... You vanish. Make make me a stealth check. We'll see if he notices where you went. If he doesn't, I'll I'll re roll. He's got uh, eleven. Well he rolled an eleven too. What's your stealth though? That's plot that's with the Oh okay, so he's gonna he's gonna see you, he tracks you, and he's gonna go for you. So people can get attacks of opportunity if they want. Yeah. As the worm surges towards um he can move 30 feet, so, so is he going to get to you? If that's his head, is there... Um, well, like... I, I was there and I went 60 feet. Mm-hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I think that's the closest oh, he can you get. You see him bearing on you, but you've just managed using... Brilliant, using your sorcery point to just get yourself he, out of range. If he ends in the same space that I'm in, what happens? Um, what do you mean? Well, like... He was here, yeah. and I mean, he's diagonally across spaces anyway. Yeah. And it was like, so I went diagonal up to me, so that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Mm-hmm. So that's where his head ends. He said he's got 30 feet of movement, right? Yeah. So essentially, he's going to end up like this. In oh, that I just space. put him a little bit off. Just a little bit off? Yeah. Okay, cool. His body is almost writhing against you as you go. I've just got to see if he's got a reach. I don't oh, think he does. <laughs> Um, so, Should who would we... get opportunity attacks then? Because me and Arthur definitely do. It'll uh, be my wolf, but I won't because I'm too far yeah, away. Yeah, and it won't be any of the ranged people. Either. Okay, so it's you, just you and me then? And the wolf. And the wolf. Okay, cool. Um, he's only got a reach of five feet too, so he just can't. He's chomping. I'm really glad I overcharged that now. Yeah. <laughs> and you're back, back peddling as he's chomping towards you. Does an 11 hurt? No. no. Did you roll your desk with it? Yeah. 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 Bad one. Six. Fuck, I only got, <laughs> I got. I got eleven as well. <laughs> I got. I got thirteen. 
Yeah, so this huge thing barrels you guys aside and you you knock to the and you almost stagger as it's roaring coming towards poor young Zeph who's just got back up on his feet. But that was its turn. I'm gonna make it now enraged and be going for you. Um, because you're all it sees. It and wants a little blue man, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're so running it and it wants smooth. to have fun. Yeah. It's got blinders on. So big O you actually get your action now. Cool. So I'll swing on him. Seven, four, so that's what, 11, um, plus five, 16. Yes. Okay. Oh, you know what? I actually get to know another 10 feet because of my storm, storm sorcery. Oh, thing. nice. Yeah. yeah, you float a little with electricity. So I'll do that at the start and then. <laughs> and I'm just going to make a death save for Trim Lane. 19. It's over, right? Over 10, yeah. Yeah, so she makes one death save. Oh, she'll be fine. She'll be all right. <laughs> she can heal herself. Um, <laughs> Just stick her hand on. <laughs> um, so six damage for six the first damage, hit. And you also take six. 11 fire damage. Okay, hold on. Six. A huge gout of fire envelops you as you hit it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna use another key point to do flurry of blows. I feel like we just kind of need to take this thing out. Eh? <laughs> yeah. So I'm probably gonna die on this flurry of blows anyway. <laughs> okay. Magnificent. Eighteen. Yes, yeah, so that's a hit. Yeah. It takes another five damage. And you take nine fire. Oh, yeah, sweet. So yeah, these are roaring flames almost surrounding this persistent, stubborn little monk who's just wailing on the side of this creature, covered in fire. 16, yeah, it's a hit. You got me again, you're a madman. Yeah, well, it's just like, it's flurry of blows, I've kind of got to take, okay. the, take the attacks, and I'd rather just try and get it down. I feel like you guys could probably get me up, <laughs> whatever. It's another five points of fire damage. Yeah, that'll take me down, but let's just see what the damage is. It's another five damage to it. Nice. Yeah, it's it's close. It's slowing, struggling, trying to crawl through the snow towards the <laughs> Zeph who's backpedaling with lightning, <laughs> almost hovering him over the ground. Cool. And yeah, that, that knocks me out. So yeah. he's You see the heroic little gnome pushing through the fire, just delivering blow after blow even as he's engulfed and then he can't take it anymore and drops. Stop, drops, and he rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Zeph, you see this creature bearing down on you. The back oh, no, like sorry, like you're, down you're moved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad. It's crawling away when you're dead. Yeah, I have nothing anymore, so I literally do take a snowball and throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bad casts snowball at the creature. It seems to have no effect. <laughs> he hides back in the snow. Yeah, I'm going to do another stealth check. <laughs> Oh, that's just hiding constantly. We need to give some equipment or something. This old I can give him a dagger. I've got three of them. Yeah. This old man cowers in fear. I might actually have something. Because I've, I've got... I think I might have like a staff or something. Backstab with a staff. I mean, I don't, I don't use them. I rolled, a, I rolled a 10 on my stealth check that time. Okay. Probably doesn't matter. He's so focused on... Yeah, yeah. His little blue snack sliding away from him. Little snack. His little snack. Okay, Nibbles, you're up. All right, Nibbles is gonna charge forward in bear form and like multi-attack this thing. Um, so bite. So that is six plus six, so that's twelve. So the bite misses, I assume. Mm -hmm. And claws. Seven plus six so is thirty. Oh my god. What did you need? Was it fourteen? Did I say? Yeah. Right, so Nibbles You didn't take a heroism potion. No, you didn't. Okay. Yeah, you needed 14. So yeah, you're trying to get purchase on this fiery worm, but the heat's pushing you back, and you're, you can't sink your teeth and or claws into it as it's rolling forward. Your wolf, however, is running yeah. beside you. Yeah, running beside me. A bear and a bunny wolf. Let's go. Um, so the wolf... I've got to go to the other stat block. Could be up to old Tom. I'm going to take the credit for it. Oh no, there's Arthur as well. Okay. 
So 13 and 15, so 15, yeah, 16, 17, 18, yeah. 28, so that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 piercing for the first attack. That's it, that's enough. Okay. So this, your wolf grabs it by the, uh, it takes 9 fire damage. Ah, <coughs> uh, yeah, that wolf's gone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, so it had 12, so 9, so it's, you know, 3 left. Okay, yeah, and it rips out the rest of this creature's throat as it works its way along the body. It matches on, fire singeing, it's screaming, howling and rage both, but this huge, it was a Remoras, but a young one. Just a young one. And, yeah, it falls still, just steaming in the snow. And, uh... And Tim rushes over with his bandolier and uh, gets a potion down in Trim Lanes. You're right, lass. You're right. Oh, okay. Tim, Tom will look after you. The wolf has a little tear in his eye, looking at the wolf, just saying, that's my boy. Yeah. <laughs> he's sick, <laughs> wagging his tail, yeah. just singed uh, black and fur, but he's proud to have served his master well. I would like to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, old Tom says... <laughs> That's probably one of the worst things we'll meet out here this close to town. So it's, it's all this done. close to town. Then. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. Wait, what? Once we get out of the mid wildlands, it gets gets worse. <laughs> oh, we may not get out of the mid wildlands. I think Gunther's spots just on the border of the mid wild. So how often do you take adventuring parties out here, or do you go solo? Uh, not this far solo. I usually <laughs> yeah, and I usually take well. I'm just a guy. I just take well established. Uh, so, um, while you guys are chatting, is, is Big O just still <laughs> dying in the snow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just see the smoking black body uh, on the side. Yeah, yeah so. I'll go over and give you a potion. Thanks, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so everyone's burned what potion? Well, I guess they every six seconds. Make oh, sure you, uh, yeah, because that's part of what this is all about. What, what was the thing for potions again? Yeah, 34 yeah, plus 2. 24 oh. plus 2. Yeah. And how many potions do we have each? Uh, three healing and two hero heroism. Okay, so I gave you one of mine, so I've got two and one left. Yeah, and we'll say Trimlane and Old Tim have this. Old Tom have the same, so Old Tom's used one of his. Trimlane. So we actually haven't left the camp yet. <laughs> that was. <laughs> We've been moved at all. That was position. morning. So we can say you've. After this, yeah. you can either say you want to rest or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and, and yeah, we'll, we'll knock back your travel. What I've done is broken your travel into three sections. Yeah. So if you knock back a section, uh, then we'll just knock back how far you get in one of those sessions. Yeah. So, so yeah, you can... Uh, old Tom says, what do you think, lads? Who press on or... Mend our wounds back at the uh, back at our camp. They're looking. Uh, you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> that that pipes up and, and was like, I'd like to study some more on my spell book if we are <laughs> going to be continuing this pace of <laughs> yeah, and he, destruction. Oh, yeah. And old Tim looks out to the horizon and says, "I think you're right." <laughs> You can push your luck out here in the wilds and that leads to an early death. I, I love how it becomes old Tim and old Tom. <laughs> 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 Just make them old Tim, bro. Just make them old Tim. So yeah, you guys, we can uh, end the session there with a short rest, an hour's rest. Short rest, perfect. Uh, does, it, what does, a short, does a short rest give you guys enough or yep. do you need a long rest? I don't know, what do you guys want to do? I'm, 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 I'm actually, I'm one down from max hit points, so I don't actually, short rest doesn't do me anything. Yeah, um, yeah, not too bad. I could take a short rest and recover, because you recover hit points on a yeah, short you rest. Can yeah, you roll hit dice. Hit yeah. Dice on that. yeah, so, yeah. So if we do a long rest, can I rearrange all my, like, I, I don't know how to, yeah, can I rearrange all my spells? Uh, at this point, yeah, because you don't know what you need, but... Normally, as a wizard, you're going to have a spell book where you'll have a choice of spells that you can choose from. Um, as you're still learning the game, we'll say they're not set in stone yet. You can uh, still go through your spells and, and reset it. We can even say that for now, yeah. you know, um, just until you get the hang of yeah. playing a wizard. Make it a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because so that's normally you can only change it every level, eh? Like swap things in and out. Yeah. yeah, I think a wizard can each day read his spell book and choose yeah. a number of spells that he yeah. has prepared. Yeah. Um, and so when you get scrolls and that, you can write them into your spell book and add more spells and stuff. So we'll, we'll leave that there. You haven't made it out of the camp. But yeah, you've, you've had a taste of what these wildlands are going to be like. And uh, yeah, it's every time segment is rolling a D10. To How see. about we not range into the higher difficulty level zones? It's just, yeah, let's be lying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm almost out of spell slots, man. <laughs> Yeah, so you've, you've still got to um, travel the afternoon and the evening, yeah. and then I only do one roll for the night because most creatures, it's so cold out here that they don't venture out at night. There's only a small chance. Yeah. So we can maybe do a afternoon roll, and if nothing happens, we can do an evening, evening roll to let you guys know how far Fuck you it. get. Fuck it, it's still yeah. out rolling. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so after well. your rest, after tending to your wounds, bandages being applied, you almost drunkenly meditating. Yeah. Two. Yeah, you you head off again in the afternoon. So you're only going to make two stages today. Yeah. In, in the map, but Jake, do you want to roll a D10? Uh, D10. Yep. That's a D10. We it? won't do the fight if it happens, but you'll know it'll be happening for next session. Otherwise, we'll see how far you. Get. Four. Four. So thankfully, the after afternoon passes without incident, and then you start to see the sun setting on the horizon. Um, Big O, do you want to make this roll? <laughs> you guys are like, fucking looking at me. Three. Three. <laughs> and you, you don't make it to the broken pillars. Yeah. Um, and old Tom says, this is as far as we'll... Old Tim <laughs> says, this is as far as we'll... <laughs> Get tonight, lads. We don't want to push it in the night. There's ambushing creatures out there. So let's uh, let's set up camp here. We'll get the tents out and uh, hunker down for the night. Um, and yeah, let's. Do you want to do a spirit trap thing here? I don't think he's got his mind on putting spirit <laughs> yeah. traps out this time. <laughs> so yeah, it's a bit of terror now. You're almost paranoid. And um, I'll put two snares up. Two snares? At, at what seemed to be like entrances to the camp. Okay, yeah, it's, it's hard to judge, but I'll give a randomness to yep, it to see right. if anything comes. And uh, yeah, what I'll do is roll in my own time to see if anything happens that night, and we'll go from there. Cool. Are you guys did well to survive that? Oh, that was pretty easy, really. So I thought I would take, at this point, <laughs> because we haven't right. rolled for a night, mm -hmm. should I only have the hit points from the short rest? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I've just got to remember to do that. Yeah. Um,